Hi guys, let's look at the difference between validation rule and validation text that is in Microsoft Access databases and programming. Guys, uh, we launch Microsoft Access, then we just go to new, we can have validation rule versus validation text. Then we launch our database and for this instance we need to create a table so create table design guys here we have to type something like for example we can just have student name and then we can have year year of we can have year of but it's a good practice in programming not to have space use underscore or capital letters or that is a uh, title case so guys, we have year of birth, then we have uh, current year, current year, then we have age. Then here, we need to have a situation whereby when capturing the year of birth, when capturing the year of birth, uh, guys should be, uh, should have been uh, born, have been born the year 2000 and above. Any guy who was uh, who was uh, actually born uh, after, or that is before, sorry, before 2000, should not be accommodated in this system. So we shall have the current year, the current year here, because we have a number, this is also a number, this is a number. So we have this one as the primary key. We save our database as validation, validation, just like validation. So guys, we need to validate the current year not to exceed 2022 uh, sorry 2023 and also year of birth should not be uh, before 2000 so we go to year of birth then guys down here we have validation rule and validation text here if you just go here you will notice that uh, validation rule is an expression that limits the values that can be entered into the field. Then we have the validation text. The validation text is the error message that appears when you enter a value prohibited by the validation rule. That is the difference. So guys here, we just come to uh, year of birth, then just go to validation rule. The year of birth should be res, sorry, should be greater or equal to 2000. Then. If somebody enters 1999, 1984, 1990, what should happen? The error message that should be displayed. So here you can just say error. Error. Uh, you cannot, you cannot uh, enter year after. That is before, year before, uh, before 2000. So this is the message that you shall have in case we violate that. So guys, if for example, I save, then run this one. Uh, then we just have student name, can have my name there, done. Then year of birth, say somebody enters 1996, then press enter. You notice guys, you have an error message. So this is the validation text, error, you cannot enter year before 2000. So if, for example, I put 2000, it should be accommodated. Uh, then we can just change this one to avoid the currency right click, go to this view. I uh, can see it's currency. So this is the number. Here we change this one. This is not currency really. We need to have fixed number. So if I save this one, guys, then I run. You see, we have 2000. So on the other hand, we can just right click, go to design view, then we validate the, um, the next. So I just go to this point, guys. We have current year. We have said current year should not exceed, should not exceed this year. So we just go to here. Then we have date, 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 then cross that one. So that's how you go about it. So this means this year. And for that case, you can just say the year, the year 
the year cannot exceed the uh, exceed 2023 so that is the error message so we save that one again see these guys uh, go to uh, home view then you just enter the year the current year here the current year is 2023 20, uh, so that one is okay so if you add another guy here benson then benson was born 2003 then the year we put 2024 by mystic you see now guys we shall have the year cannot exceed 2023 because 2024 is greater than 2023 and for that case i need to do something like year 2022 uh, like that 20 this is you need to have 2023 so guys you can also now calculate the age here so you just go to design view uh click on first of all we delete this field age we type it again age then we choose calculated field then guys here we have the the that is the current year minus year of birth then you will just click on ok so that field is calculated and for that case if i just run you see i'll get the age that is the year of birth minus current year so guys when you talk about uh, validation rule and validation text there are two different uh, points there are two different points but on the other hand they are still related to some extent guys thank you very much for watching uh, remember to subscribe remember to share uh, my videos with your friends thank you very much